No. No, 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 no. Just. No. Ahoy, guys. Today, we are going to talk about feminism. Oh, for the love of... Oh, fuck. Another one of these videos. Another one. Is this any different? It's... It, uh, I'm asking you guys, is this video any different from your average everyday feminist video that you ever encounter ever on YouTube? Seriously, how much you're willing to bet that this person is going to use the exact same arguments as every other feminist on YouTube? Ugh. Listen, this video basically, in a nutshell, it's basically the common core arguments of feminism. You know, this is more of a abridged version of my upcoming video. And believe me, that video will be awesome. I'm not going to just simply cut and paste. I am going to do more than that. I am actually going to put lots and lots and lots of effort into it. But... You know, this is just a prime example on why and how feminism fails. So, take notes, ladies and gentlemen. I want you guys to take notes on the common core arguments of feminism. Okay? The common core arguments will be in the, li in the link in the description. I mean, the, it's in the description. And you guys can follow along, and you know, this will be a, you know, kind of a preview on how these common core arguments of feminism work. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. So first off, let's read the definition of feminism. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. That's pretty much the very first thing that feminists enjoy abusing. That's the very first step when they make their very first feminist video. Explain what feminism is. And, you know, it's there's bonus points if they use the dictionary. All I have to say is... Fuck the dictionary. What I care is the actions. And so far, what I see from feminists is that their actions do not uh, equal their definition. If anything, the definition of, the, uh, of feminism should change. So that way these feminists could shut the hell up. So femini feminism is all about equality. It's not about women being better than men. It's about us being equal to men. I would believe you if it wasn't for step three. The fact that men think that feminists and feminism are just angry lesbians is complete bullshit. I'm pretty fucking angry that for some reason people do not treat women the same as men. You know, that is just a bullshit statement right there. <sighs> But, you know, just wait until we reach step three. For example, the fact that we teach girls how not to get raped instead of teaching boys to not rape. Bullshit, 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 and just plain freaking bullshit. Where the fuck do you even get this idea? Of course we teach men not to rape. Of course we also teach men not to steal, not to kill, but guess what? This, this still happens. This is like trying to convert a gay guy to a straight guy. It's just not gonna work. 
by stating that we should teach men not to rape rather than teach women not to not to get rape it's basically saying that you do not want responsibility of your own actions you get drunk it's not your fault that you get raped or it's not your fault that you become such an easy target for men to rape or harass it's basically you, you basically don't want any responsibility you don't want to be careful you just want to be reckless and that itself just is proof that you are not really in for equality. You want to be treated with more dignity or, or, or with more respect by making sure that it's the men who take responsibility and not the women. And that is why feminism fails. You demonstrated on how you are a selfish piece of crap. Then school dress codes. Girls can't wear spaghetti straps or straps that are smaller than the width of three fingers. That your dresses, skirts, shorts all have to be fingertip length. And they have those dress codes only because of the fact that it's distracting. Dress codes affect every freaking one it's not just the girls but the boys as well you know what i had to go through in my school in the, when it comes to the dress code i had to wear navy blue not blue exactly navy blue a navy blue shirt or navy blue sweater to go to school if i don't i get suspended you know how stupid a dress code is in school it's fucking hilarious it's fucking stupid there shouldn't be a dress code at all. We should dress whatever the hell we want, whatever the fuck we want. You know, I can understand the hats, you know, that's fine. But for fuck's sakes, you're complaining about a dress code. Something that's in fucking schools. Ugh. You know, I may have over-exaggerated a bit when this is the common core arguments of feminism, but this is new. This is a, a new argument. Where the fuck are these feminists coming from? You're the very first person to actually complain about the, the dress code in school, of, of schools these days. And, you know, I appreciate, you know, some complaint about the dress codes, but what you just said is utterly complete bullshit. Oh, are my shoulders distracting you? Really? God forbid a girl's bra pops out or you can see a little bit of it. God forbid I'm wearing a bra. Oh my God. I had a friend in high school that had a lacy back to her t-shirt so you could see her bra strap in the back. And it was, the whole back was like lacy. She got sent home because you could see her bra. God forbid she was actually wearing a bra, but you're gonna send her home because we can see it from the back. See now, if I'm wearing clothes that show my skin, I have no problem with guys hitting on me because of that. A feminist that enjoys catcalling or being hit on? What the world's coming to? I'm starting to miss the wage gap argument. I have a problem with guys thinking that because I'm showing skin, I'm asking for it. No, I'm showing off my body because I like it and I'm confident and I like what I'm wearing and I just feel good in it. I'm not showing off my midriff or I'm wearing short shorts because I want to get laid. That is completely not why I'm doing that. And then because we're told that boys will be boys instead of them taking responsibility for their action. Where the fuck do you even get this idea? Boys will be boys? Where, when in society has, you know, um, you know, a state or anywhere has excused a boy for his actions because he was just a boy, you know, he, 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 he a bit a big pass, you know. I can recall one, one time, but that's when Anonymous came in and, you know, actually did something. 
uh, there was these boys who raped a girl. They got away with it because he was, they got away with it because they were part of a band or something. Anonymous came in, you know, they said, he said that the boys should be suspended. If not, they're going to reveal their um, social security numbers, uh, their address, and etc. And the boys were punished. Yes, there was that one time, but in what area has anyone excused a boy's actions just because they were- Love this topic and hate this topic at the same time because I wish more people knew about it. Honestly, I don't even know why we call it feminism. We should probably just call it common fucking sense. You need some common fucking sense. You seriously do. I mean- you complain about the dress code. The fucking dress code. The dress code is for professionalism. I mean, me personally, I think the dress code is completely pointless and, you know, just annoys the crap out of me. But it's, it's for professional reasons. Not for, you know, sexism. Okay? It, but by God, you complain about the stupidest things that I've ever heard. And then you turn around and say that, you know, you like wearing, wearing revealing clothing because it makes you feel good. You're not wearing it for the boys. You're doing it for yourself. In reality, you're actually doing it because you enjoy the attention that boys give you. But then you complain about, you know, if you, know, you think that you deserved it or something like that. I think you might be an attention whore. So that was my little rant slash education party about feminism. There was nothing educational about your video. The only thing I learned is that from you is that you are a privileged, snotty bastard who just want the attention of boys. That's all. And I'm sorry if I, you know, insulted you by calling you an attention whore. But that's what you are. That's what you're becoming, an attention whore. You don't want to become professional. You just want to wear whatever the hell you want. You want to wear a strapless bra or whatever the hell? That's fine. You should just go to school. But you know what? You don't care about being professional. Maybe while you're at it, maybe you should just wear a bikini next time you uh, go to school and just suck at a lollipop trying to get the attention of boys. Because... Hell, that's what you're gonna become, right? An attention. They should share it on your social media site because this is a topic that more people should definitely know about. And I will see you guys next time I make a video. And kiss me again. And kiss me again. Attention. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google Plus. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks. Hey guys, 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 guys. My birthday is coming up in a week. Get me something!